FM 3780 is an articulated truck that was added to the game in season 12. Now, maybe just because this is an articulated truck, you think it's not that good or it's difficult to drive this truck. Well, maybe it's like that. You know, I want to talk about something that I personally felt when I was driving FEM 3780. Driving this truck is not that fun, unfortunately, at least in my experience. So driving FEM is like taming a wild horse. You always have to fight this truck when you're driving it. Every time you hit a pothole or something like that, the truck just steers to left or right and you have to keep correcting it. Now, I'm not saying this truck is bad at all. This truck is actually one of the most capable trucks that I've used in this game. It's insanely good and we get to that later on, but it's a bit of a difficult truck to drive. Fem is a very unique truck. It's the only truck in the game that allows you to have a four slot bed and attach a trailer to your truck. Now, I think attaching that very big trailer, that ramped trailer is not a very good idea because uh, it would make it very difficult to maneuver the truck and the trailer. So I think sticking with the smaller trailers is a better idea. But it's such a good thing that you can do that. Now, another thing that I liked about this truck is it has a good engine too. Unlike Kenworth 963 that the engine is not that powerful, this truck has a good decent engine. You could go for the most powerful engine, but I think that's not a good idea. Sticking with the second most powerful engine is better in my opinion because it's more fuel efficient. And FEM doesn't have the biggest fuel tank in the game. It's big enough to always get the job done, it's not like you're gonna run out of fuel all the time, but compared to zig 6 h or Kenworth 963, it's not that big. And you have some extra fuel on the roof rack too. Now, another thing that I like about FEM is, at first I thought it's like as of Antarctic and it could be very tippy sometimes, but actually it's not that tippy. Yes, sometimes you tip over, but so many times I was about to tip over and I didn't, you know? So if you're not careful at all, yes, maybe you tip over but this truck is actually a stable enough to use you know what i mean like you don't need to be always worried about tipping over so that's another good thing about fem in my opinion so fem is a truck that is a bit similar to kenworth 963 one downside is when you compare it to Kenworth, it doesn't have diff lock always on so you cannot get the most out of the truck when you're in high gear. But compared to Kenworth 963, the engine is way better. Kenworth always struggles going up a hill, you have to go really slow and always keep it in like low gear. But FEM doesn't struggle as much as Kenworth 963. And if we compare it to as of Antarctic, it is very capable like as of Antarctic and has more add-ons, but it's not as TP as as of Antarctic. And if we compare it to Western Star Twin Steer, you're not stuck with one add-on. You have access to more add-ons unlike Western Star Twin Steer. But something that I want to mention is driving Western Star Twin Steer is very fun and exciting. It feels so good when you drive that truck. The way you can just put it in high gear and just devour the roads and go through the mud is just so fun. But FEM as I've said, it's just not that fun to drive this truck. You always have to fight it. And that's like I think the biggest downside of this truck. But something else that I didn't like about FEM is I don't really like this crane for this truck. Having the blue crane is not a good idea with the long bed. The crane cannot even reach to the back of the bed. So putting cargoes at the back of the bed is very difficult and I think this crane is not that good for a truck that has the long bed. International Paystar 5600 TS and Kenworth 963, they both have the yellow crane with their long bed. So I think that's a better choice. And something else that I want to say about FEM is, even though it's a very long truck, the turning radius of this truck is not that bad. I actually didn't struggle that much going around very tight corners. So that's a very good thing too. But as long as you're not pulling a trailer, 
when you attach a trailer to this truck just it makes it impossible to actually back up the truck and the trailer it's so difficult i don't know how to do it man but the truck itself for going around tight corners it's good it's better than western star to in a steer so i think fem 3780 is a very fantastic truck but might be a bit difficult to use it but in my opinion it's just too good to ignore and not use this truck it's a very very useful truck and that's it for today's video i see you in the next one